Earlier tonight, we told you about accusations that Los Gatos High School District isn't doing enough to support student sex assault victims. Now a family involved in a past tragedy with the district says they're not surprised. Investigative reporter Candace Wynn is here with part two of her investigation. A past tragedy in the South Bay. Three boys have admitted to abusing Saratoga's Audrey Potts. Haunting the comforts of Saratoga and Los Gatos today. She's the 15-year-old Los Gatos girl who committed suicide following an alleged sexual assault. Audrey Potts was a student at Saratoga High School in 2012 when she took her own life. It happened eight days after a party where three boys admitted they sexually assaulted the 15-year-old, took photos of her, and with markers, wrote messages on her private areas when she was passed out. The three 16-year-old boys remain in custody here at Juvenile Two of the boys were sentenced to 30 days in Juvenile Hall. The third was sentenced to 45 days. No one was expelled from Saratoga High School. How do you think the school district and the principal handled your daughter's case? Terribly. Sheila Pott is Audrey's mother. The current superintendent recently hired that same principal to now lead Los Gatos High School. What are your feelings on that? Well, I really thought things had changed. It was shocking to me to find out they were still being kind of brushed away. Pot is talking about a growing number of current and former Los Gatos High School teens, like Mia Lazoya and Lisa Broomfield, sharing stories of being sexually assaulted by other students. I was begging for him to stop and he wouldn't. Constant, constant nightmares. The young women say Los Gatos High did not create a culture for safe reporting. Their high school is in the same district as Saratoga High. Following dozens of stories now shared on social media, a group of Los Gatos students is calling for change and accountability. Two things Sheila questions with the rehiring of interim principal Paul Robinson after Los Gatos High School's principal unexpectedly resigned for personal reasons at the end of the last school year. How could they have done any due diligence in researching and providing the right principal for that particular high school knowing what had happened in the past? There were serious mistakes that were made. Mike Leninger is a retired San Jose police detective turned private investigator. The Potts family attorney hired him to investigate Audrey's case early on. I believe the school district um, handled it very poorly. I see reputation uh, being the standard as to what they're going to base their decisions on, how it's going to affect the reputation of the school. One example, Leninger says, is Principal Robinson previously downplaying student misconduct to the Mercury News, saying rumors of Audrey being bullied were as far from the truth as can be. Even though an incident report shows the district knew of possible bullying one day after her suicide. And three days later, Robinson sent an email to the superintendent detailing the sexual assault claims. The boys were moving the sophomore's top and bra and writing things on her. Our investigative unit reached out to Superintendent Mike Grove multiple times for months. He was not with the district during the Audrey Pot case. We've also reached out to Paul Robinson and Cynthia Chang, who's been a district board trustee for years. Cynthia Chang was also board president when Audrey Pot died. All of them declined interviews. In emails, Grove defended hiring Robinson, saying Paul is a beloved and respected figure. He said the district also expanded counseling services and launched an independent inquiry. He also released this pre-recorded video to parents of their new Title IX coordinator. The truth is that we take the issue of sexual assault and sexual harassment very seriously. For that reason, we have invested and will continue to invest in resources and educational efforts that allow our students to feel safe and empowered. Sheila Pott believes the district's yes. words aren't always aligned with its actions. Do you think how the school district handled your daughter's case and the boys involved had an impact on what we're seeing now? It was a terrible example for the boys to remain on campus. It tells women and girls that they're not equals. Young women like Broomfield say the school didn't provide a culture where she felt safe to report her case. I didn't think there was any way people would believe me. Lazoya says she did report and was re-victimized because the school only changed her schedule to try and avoid her alleged attacker. 
and it just got to a point where I started to see him too often and it was too hard to be here. Grove couldn't comment on specific cases, but in both, the girls and their families say they're the ones who had to move out of Los Gatos. It, it broke us as a family, but also brought us closer together. Los Gatos High School is expected to get a new principal in July. For the latest on the district's independent inquiry and for more information on victim services, policy changes, and how to report sexual assault, go to our website, nbcbayarea.com slash me2lghs. With the investigative unit, I'm Candace Webb.